Hi, and welcome to another Freebillis webisode. So, today, uh, a couple of subscribers asked me about my hair care routine, and I was kind of like, do you want to be underwhelmed? Well, this is the video for it, because this is very underwhelming. This is the most underwhelming hair care routine in the history of the internet, and plus a bonus of a very weird, shocking statement um, that I have for you regarding my experience with my hair and things that I do to it. So, if you enjoyed that, let's jump into it. First thing, my hair type. It's really fine and it's really oily. It's so sad, uh, to the point where if I do nothing, if I just wash it and everything normal, I wash it in the morning, mid-afternoon, my fringe is sticking to my forehead already really greasy and it starts to go downhill from there. It's not a good look and it gets really, really oily really quickly. That's just the story of my hair. Um, but I managed to only wash it three times a week, sort of, maybe. Um, and I'm going to show you what I do regarding that. First thing, um, shampoo. I'm using this one from Chloran. Is uh, the citrus pulp or cider pulp shampoo? I don't know. It's in French. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I I bought this on a promotion. It's a huge bo bottle. It's good for fine hair and frequent usage. So good for me. I have a nettle one too because again promotions. I'm not too big on. I haven't found a shampoo that really felt fantastic that I could use on a daily basis. There's another one that I use once in a while, you know. But yeah, this is what I'm using currently. I do uh, double cleanse my hair every single time that I wash it. So I wash it twice with a good amount of shampoo. And yeah, that's it. Now, let's talk about the weird statement that I'm going to make. I do not use conditioner. You can hit me with whatever you want virtually, of course, but that's just how it goes. I don't use conditioner on the reg. What I do, and it has been working for me perfectly, is to brush my hair before I get into the shower. And then, when I step out of the shower, this brushing the hair beforehand just makes sure that it doesn't get too tangly in the shower. And then when I step out of the shower with my wet hair, I use a wet brush, of course, because it's more delicate with wet hair and it prevents breakage. And I very gentle detangle it and it's done. And that's all I do regarding um, detangling my hair. And I'm sorry if this is shocking for you, but it works perfectly for me. I usually cut my hair once a year. Uh, during the pandemic, I spent almost two years without cutting my hair and I did not have any split ends to talk about. Uh, so this is working for me. So that's how it goes. Now, after stepping out of the shower, washing my hair, I go with usually a mousse. The one that I'm finishing is the Elnet Satin Creme de mousse uh, uh, with extra strong hold. Um, yeah, this is a mousse. You know how it goes. I'm almost um, out of it. Finally, it took me two years because I don't use a lot because my hair is really fine. And to replace it, I'll have the Persian Reed um, Abundantly Bouncy Volumizing Mousse that I've tried in a mini kit with the travel sizes. I liked it and I purchased the full size to be in stock when this one just goes out. Eventually, it will. And uh, yeah, I just feel that applying a mousse to my hair, just when I blow dry my hair, it just lifts from my scalp and it doesn't start to get oily as quickly. There's a bit of air there. It's not already sticking to my hair and starting to get contaminated with oils in a sense. So. And I use a little amount, uh, I brush it through my hair, and then I use whatever's left on my hands uh, on my fringe so it doesn't get oversaturated. So, to pre in order to prevent as much as possible that, you know, gripping together of the strands when you apply too much mousse, that can happen. But it never happens to me doing this. And then I just blow dry my hair, in case you're wondering, no, I do not have a Dyson 400 euro um, air dryer. I have a probably 20 year old 
air dry that works perfectly and that's what I do. Now, do I blow dry every single time I wash my hair? Yes and no. Yes, if it's below 23 degrees Celsius. Because, because, weirdly enough, again, anecdotal person right here, if I let my hair air dry when it's a teeny bit colder, I get a cold. I get sick. Don't ask me why. I do not know. Ask science, which says that this is a myth, but it happens to me. So here I am, the myth, and uh, I need to blow dry my hair when it's a bit colder. I can't let it air dry, so that's when I use the mousse. And yes, I do air dry it, uh, blow dry it about, I don't know, eight, seven, eight months a year, depends on the temperature, basically. And if I can't go to bed with it, uh, with it wet at all, it gets really greasy really quickly and I get a cold. So that cannot be done. So that's where we stand. So these up until now, shampoo and mousse were the ones I talked about. The third product that I use regularly is dry shampoo and you knew that you know that I go through these a lot this one is the eco-friendly version which is a squeezy tube um, instead of the aerosol I prefer going through the faff of managing this delivers a bit more product I feel that the powder in it is a bit thicker in a way but I prefer to go through the faff of using this um, and micro dosing it onto my hand than using an aerosol bottle that costs basically the same price or even is a bit more expensive and lasts me less than a month. This lasts me for months. Uh, I've used one of these from Briogeo, same thing. So I really like dry shampoo and usually I use it right after blow drying my hair. My hair looks absolutely glorious. Like most oily uh, hair people know, our hair looks absolutely glorious glossy and bouncy when we just washed it and dried it. It looks absolutely glorious and I don't want to mat it down and mattify it immediately with this. So I apply a small amount, but I do apply a small amount of this to my hair right after washing and drying. And uh, I really make sure it's really meshed together and my hair is still looking really glossy and really shiny, but uh, this will prevent, and I notice the difference when I do this, this will prevent uh, it from getting oily earlier than when I'm not using the dried shampoo in this context. Same thing, I use it sometimes before going to sleep and, you know, as most people do, sometimes I use it when I wake up and I, I get ready in the morning. It depends on how I feel, have I remembered to do that, did I not, you know, that kind of stuff. So these are my three routine uh, products, regular routine products. Let's go into the not so regular but still part of my life and routine products. Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating uh, Shampoo. This is so good. I've used this for years and years and years and years. This is super expensive. I hate the fact that this is so expensive, but I use this about once a week uh, to remove, you know, the buildup from, you know, dry shampoo and all the gunk uh, from my hair. I do the first uh, cleanse with my normal shampoo. I then go with this, massage it. It has sort of a gritty texture, uh, but you massage it, it becomes a lather, a very thick, scrumptious lather and then it has a minty feeling which is really good I, I like that on my scalp nowhere else uh, and then I leave it on do the rest of my body maybe shave and then I just rinse it off and I use this once a week to remove any kind of build it build up that I may have and I have not had dandruff in quite a, lot, a while let's talk about the products that I use once in a while so it's this is out of my usual routine, but these are things that I keep with me. American Cream Conditioner. I use this mostly when I want my hair to smell good. That's that. Um, my, um, my hairdresser a long time ago suggested me to stop using conditioner and she was right. Um, and it works for me. As I said, no split ends. 
so I don't feel the need to use this to nourish my hair uh, on a regular basis, but I still have it. I love the smell it gives. It lasts long on my hair and, you know, when I feel my hair's getting a bit rougher in any sense, I can always go to this and use it on that day for that purpose. Um, and regarding the same kind of nourishment theory, I have other t two other products. One of them is from Percy and Reed 2. This is the Smooth... Oh. Smooth, sealed and sensational volumizing no oil oil for fine hair. <laughs> Please, Percy and Reed, just don't. I got sucked in by the marketing on this product um, and this is marketed for fine hair so I really wanted to try it out. I've been really enjoying it. I don't use it, as I said, very often. About once a month or something. I do it like, you know, a sort of a cozying treatment for my hair. It's really lightweight. It doesn't uh, weigh my hair down too much, so I'm okay with using it. And you apply it on damp hair. It's a very thin, watery oil. Feels very nice. No complications. Just blow dry your hair or let it air dry and you're fine. And I really like that one. The other one, I was um and an uh, regarding talking about it because I don't know if this still exists. I've had this for years because I don't use it very often. This again was suggested by my um, my uh, hairstylist, and she's phenomenal with these tips. And this is the Schwarzkopf uh, Schwarzkopf um, Q10 Plus Bonacure. So many words. Time restore. I don't know if they still do this, uh, but mine is still fine. It hasn't changed the smell or anything, and I only use it on myself. This is really healing for the hair. I feel healing as much as it can be in a hair product because your hair doesn't heal per se, but I feel like this is really good. If my hair is feeling rougher and in need of a bit of repair, I use this. It's basically like a leave-in conditioner that you spray onto your ends, you just brush it in and then you move on with your routine. Again, not too heavy on my hair. I really like it. As I said, I don't feel the need to use it very regularly. There was a time in which I used it almost every single time I washed my hair. Instead of using conditioner, I just stepped out of the shower and used, it, I, and used this as a, you know, a, a spray-on conditioner. Right now, is one of these uh, three that I use as a treatment in a way for my hair and my ends but I don't feel the need to do that very often to be honest. The last part is the most sad part I'd say. It's the styling section of my video. I don't style my hair that much. I don't know if you've noticed usually it's after a couple of hours it's in a bun and there it stays, uh, but um, when I'm into styling, there are two products that I really like. One of them is the fuss-free one, it's the Wear Wave Spray. You've seen me talk about this, I keep buying the tiny ones because I don't feel like having a huge one that, go that goes bad. And I use this again in the summer when it's warmer and I don't want to use the mousse, uh, I just spritz this on my wet hair kind of brush it through a bit so it doesn't stick uh, the strands and I let it air dry and it gives my hair a bit of a wavy kind of rebel kind of beachy sort of thing and I really like it. The, the thing that I do not like regarding this is the smell. I'm sorry, I must be the only person on the internet and I am I alone in this probably that does not like the smell. I mean, it's not terrible but I don't care for it, you know. Uh, it's a bit too perfumey it's too, I've arrived and I smell like this and I don't want to smell like this a kind of product but other than that I love it I use it very sparingly again I have very fine hair a little bit goes a long way and then in one of those rare occasions where I want to take two hours to try and curl my hair with my flat iron <laughs> um, I use a styling cream. This is the Wonder Bomb uh, hair primer from Percy and Reed. It has a bit of heat protection, but the thing that I noticed the most with this, I've used uh, a tiny travel size, tiny, not tiny, a travel size of this for many years, uh, and then I decided to get the bigger one. The thing I noticed the most about this is that it just delivers in terms of maintaining the style a bit longer because my hair, you know, it just 
just wants to dissolve and it does not want to defy gravity in, in any way, shape or form. But when I use this, the, the waves that I try to achieve and that I end up achieving stay on for a bit longer, quite a bit longer, without my hair looking like it's filled with products and crackly and all that. It feels really smooth and soft and normal, you know, bouncy hair, uh, but it holds the curl. So I really like that. I'm sorry for what I did to my hair right now. That's life. But yeah, it's the only styling product that I have. I need to get a hairspray to be like a normal person. But up until then, this is my routine. So this is it. I hope you have been pleasantly underwhelmed with my hair care routine or lack thereof. Um, if you have any more suggestions or videos you want to see from me, please leave them in the comments below. Um, share with me your little tips and tricks for your hair. I'd love to know that. And um, yeah, other than that, um, if you haven't, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up for this video, uh, watch my other videos, talk about me to your friends maybe, and as usual, thank you for spending your time with me. And I'll see you in my next video.